We're on the floor right now because packing is going down. Last minute packing, we are sort of panicking, sort of not. I think I've got a handle on it. We'll see, we'll see. I am having you guys join me though so that I stay focused and get things done. I have a very detailed packing list going on right now. Literally anything and everything that I am putting in a bag is going to be recorded. Even my clothing section here is color coordinated by type of clothing. So tops are one color, dresses, intimates, PJs. Is it perhaps a little excessive? Absolutely. But it's more so for when I leave Portugal, I want to be able to make sure that everything that I went there with is coming back with me. This packing cube right here has my dresses. I'm using a set of packing cubes from Eagle Creek. I'll try and find links to these ones, but I think they've updated them since. I'll try and find similar ones, but I feel like packing cubes are essential, not only on a normal trip, but also because I am sharing a suitcase with everyone in my family. I think we're gonna distribute all of our clothes kind of randomly between two check-ins. And then we're also each gonna have a little baggie of clothes or a couple outfits for our carry-on. Speaking of which, I wish I could do this whole trip in a carry-on, but Air Transat, which is the airline that we're flying with, only allows carry-ons that are under 19 inches, and nearly every carry-on that I see is 21 inches. So we're checking two bags and doing some under-seater luggage as our quote-unquote carry-on. I love a good packing cube moment though, and all my dresses are in this one. This little baby one that I'm gonna put my underwear in. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so must write that down. I have 11. Even though I've known this trip is coming up and I've been getting excited about, it always felt really far away and now it's very close and my body hasn't caught up with that fact. <laughs> Two workout tops. I'm bringing workout gear. Both that's gonna be for actually working out because I do wanna stay active while I'm there. I feel like I'll probably be doing more, well, I will be doing more body focused workouts and I have some resistance bands I'm also taking just because I can't obviously take weights. But this also gives me a chance to pack clothes I can do work, whether it's outside or inside my grandparents' place. That's why I'm bringing a little bit more than I probably need. I just need to get socks. Oh, this went way faster than I thought it would. See what happens when we're all focused. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this one will be socks. It could be worse. This is what a typical carry-on should be, and this is just what I'm using to take everything home. So if everything fits in there, then I'm fine. Pearson Airport has been a bit on the scary side. So I am a little nervous, but at the same time, I feel like because we have planned to have some outfits on the plane, it, it'll be fine. Oh, this still closes. We're good, we're good guys. It is the next day. I have a pimple brewing on my chin and I never, I never get pimples that feel like that they're painful. I mean, I'm lucky to say that, but of course I'm getting one right now. And I've been trying to do everything I can to make sure it doesn't pop out. Okay, I don't know if you can really see it. I'm gonna do my makeup for the day. And last night I actually packed my makeup in this travel organizer from Muji. I don't know if they still carry this. I got this years ago, but it's fantastic. And the reason I packed my makeup last night was because I like to, if I'm going somewhere, pack my makeup before my last time doing makeup at home so that I do all of my current get ready with me using only the products in here. And then if I notice anything's missing, it'll be very apparent and I'll add it to it. But I think I have everything, but this is a great way of confirming it without risking leaving the house and not having it. But isn't this great? I have like my little hairbrush, all my powders, eyeshadow palette, some liquid stuff that I have to go put in a plastic bag for when it goes through security. Brushes are up here and then it just will, it doesn't look like it'll close now because these need to be pushed down, but it's all very compact. It's Roomy, I could technically fit a lot more in here, but I'm really trying to just keep it to the, I say to the basics as I look at a full makeup thing, but uh, it really is one of everything. Although I think I, I, brought, I brought two powders because I'm trying out the Rare Beauty one. Whereas that one's used for makeup, this is the one that I use for skincare because it opens up like this and then there's a hook here so you can just paint in the bathroom and have everything accessible. But this is kind of cool. This is an electric toothbrush from Philips, but it's so tiny. It doesn't take up a lot of room at all. It's battery operated. So I felt like this is a perfect alternative to taking my regular electric toothbrush because it's way bulkier and it has a whole charging system and this whole thing. It was sent to me as like some PR, but 
Uh, I think like they're often like on sale. Uh, Philips has one, Oral-B has one now. So we'll see how I like it, but just an alternative to bringing a regular toothbrush. Oil absorbing wipes because I'm gonna be very sweaty and oily. Acne patches from Next Care, I love these. Oh, that's my mom. Good morning. It's time to pack my personal item, which is a backpack. This is the Lululemon Everyday Backpack. It has this little strap here that can slip into the luggage, a pocket in the back to hold my laptop, my iPad, and my Kindle, the main like devices that I'm bringing. And then what I really like about it is it has like not only roominess in this main pouch, but a ton of a ton of like pockets so that everything can stay super organized i think i want to start with all the little compartments that need to go in here my jewelry is coming with me in my personal item because i just don't want to check that it's a beautiful little jewelry folder that you just like bada boom bada bing and there you go everything's all protected for this trip i'm taking four necklaces and then in this pouch above i have two pairs of earrings and some rings nothing too crazy for jewelry and then plus my apple watch like that's pretty much all I really need for this trip. So I'm gonna tuck that. This is a new purchase that I got for this trip. It is an RFID wallet slash ticket holder, passport holder. This is my Canadian passport. It just slips right in here. There's a section for a pen. Boarding pass ticket kind of vibe. And then these credit card slots are for all of the, the cards I'm gonna take. And there's a pouch here that I have for some euros. And I put an Apple tracker in it just in case. Although this is something that I'm gonna be very mindful of keeping on, on me, obviously. And I went for a bold color so that when it's in my bag, it's easily spotted. I have nothing like this color in here, but you can get them in black, neutrals, pops of colors, like whatever. I'll have it linked down in the description box below. I think I got it for less than 20 bucks though, so I feel like that was well worth it. When I'm out and about, because this wallet is a little bit on the larger side, I have this RFID protecting wallet that opens accordion style. Plain, I also have Clorox wipes to disinfect. I've got makeup remover, no water needed mini brush for brushing my teeth. We're on a midnight flight, so I feel like that's gonna be ideal. And some chewing gum to help with the popping of the pressure in the air. I might not take this actually. Feels thick, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. When going through security, I'm gonna have to take out all my liquids. So I do have this little pouch from Sephora, but I might need a bigger one, we'll see. Face cleanser, Bioderma, little roller perfume. I like this one, this is Black Tulip by Nest. Eye cream, moisturizer, more eye cream, lip balm, lip gloss, a Tide to Go stick. You're only allowed a liter, but I, I'm, I think I'm well under that, but I do think I'll need a bigger bag, but we'll keep it in there for now. I mentioned my text coming with me, like laptop, iPad, Kindle, so all of those things have charging things and extra accessories for my camera. So I'm using this tech organizer from Native Union. I have had it for a few years now and it's just fantastic. It still looks in fantastic condition. I love products that even though like this one is a little pricey, I remember when I bought it, it, was, it wasn't the cheapest thing, uh, but I know you can find it on sale as well. When you buy organizers that are really well made, they last you forever. So I use this all the time when I go home and when I travel and it comes in handy because look at all the little the compartments. There's a spot for my Apple Pencil, my SSD drive, my camera charger, cables, cables, cables. I have more cables to organize. I also have this little pouch that has wired headphones for the plane, my wireless headphones, laptop charger. I need a phone charger. Every single charger fits in there nicely. I'm just gonna zip it up and look so compact. This right here is gonna be like all my tech. Okay, so this is the fully packed personal item. Got a lot in it, but it's not very bulky, which obviously is necessary for a personal item because it can't be too big. In this front pocket, I have only an adapter hub for my laptop and then there's like extra room for any other last minute things I need to slip in there. I've got my belt bag in here, which I am gonna put on once I get through security, but especially once the belt bag's taken out and put on me, I have room. And there's spots too for a water bottle. I have another backpack that I really love that's in a carry-on style, but this is a much slimmer, smaller profile. So very good. I feel so relieved that that's done. It's officially travel day and I am very excited. I'm also nervous just because I wanna make sure everything goes well with 
things for security and the luggage is lost so i'm feeling just a little bit of like a little tiny bit of travel nerves but ultimately i think it's going to be good i have a busy day though because i need to hop on a train in a couple hours get home finish the final luggage assembly with the fam and then shortly after i should be heading back to the city to go to pearson <laughs> kind of worked out a little wonky that i have to go home but alas it is what it is um so it's gonna be a busy day our flight's at midnight which is the latest i've ever gone on a flight to portugal i feel like or usually night flights but i'm just keeping fingers crossed for no delays because my one of my best friends just left for for portugal yesterday our flights are almost 24 hours apart and her flight was delayed. And then tomorrow, one of my best friends also leaves for Portugal around the same time. So it's like, bam, bam, bam. It's really weird that we didn't all end up on the same day, but it's also very strange that we're all going to be in Portugal at the same time. I unfortunately won't be able to see them because they're not from around the same area that I am, but we will be in the same time zone. So FaceTimes and texting and all that stuff, we won't have any issues. I'm just making some eggs right now to just get something in my stomach. I'm probably gonna pick up something too before I hit on the train. And and it's it's game time I had my carry-on packed but I had to go through a few more things so I just need to do the final checklist call my mom make sure that she tells me the things I shouldn't be forgetting close down the apartment get ready I'm looking at the final configuration for my personal bag and I just adore this bag so much I love that Clorox wipes toothbrush and wired headphones are so easily accessible so is the gum pockets right there are great. I was able to stack all of these pouches nicely. So I've got the makeup, the tech, and the liquids bag in here. My jewelry pouch is easily accessible and so is my travel wallet. And I feel like, again, this was such a good call going for such a bold color because it really stands out in all this black. Okay, I am ready to go. It is actually kind of crazy to think that even though I'm not taking a suitcase because the suitcase is too big to be a carry-on. I could do a three-week trip with a carry-on and a personal item like this. This would be doable if I were allowed to bring a regular size to carry-on. <laughs> About 20 minutes before I have to head out, so this is a good time to start wrapping things up so that I'm not rushing in the last five minutes because I'll be uh, nervous I forgot something if I am rushing through this process. Bye, Wilma. Toodles. Bye, Pebbles. It's been tight. This is the one that I'm unsure if it's gonna survive. I think it will. These guys though will be fine without water for a while. Mm -hmm.